Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about what you get in the case. First of all, you will get a manual. It's quite in depth and it's actually quite a good manual. There are a screwdriver, some extra blades for you. There's also a memory card for the drone in here, warranty card, etc. And then you get the sorted cables for connections and charging. You'll get a couple of batteries, you'll get a main remote, and you will get the drone itself. Okay, let's take everything out and open everything up. Firstly, the drone itself, take off the protector of the blades. You simply open up the arms fully, like that. I will note in the back, there is the slot for the SD card. It pops right in there, clicks in, and then click it and pull it to get it out. The battery simply sits in there with the prongs up. It slides in, push it in firmly, and to pull it out, you push on these two little springy clips on the side and it will pull out. Now, to charge the batteries, if you press the button, it will tell you how much charge you have. Of course, four full lights means it's full. To charge it, you're going to put the battery into the drone and connect C-type charging cord up to the drone. The drone charges the battery. When you get four lights, it means the battery is completely charged. Also, it's also a good idea to take off the gimbal guard before you do anything. Simply just pull it and work its way off, just like that. If you start the drone up with the guard on, you can sometimes mess up the gimbal. Next, you have the controller. You're going to simply open up the controller, pull out the bottom like that, and then underneath you get the, uh, the sticks and you just take them out and screw them in just like that. To charge the controller on the left hand side, there's a little tab you pull back. Same thing, you put a C-type charger attached to it. And four lights when it's fully charged. Of course, again, if you press the button briefly, it will show you the charge of the controller. I've got four, means it's fully charged. Next, you're going to need the app for the phone for your drone. It's an app called WK Fly. And you can go to the Apple Store or the Google Store, put in WK Fly, and you can download it directly from there. It's probably the easiest way to get it. There is a QR code in the case, but going to the Google or Apple Store is by far the simplest way. Once you get it, when you do start it, it's going to ask you to comply to a couple of EULAs. It's also going to ask you to allow the cameras and storage, etc., to be usable with the drone. So set that up and we'll move to the next step. Now, the next step is connecting the drone to the controller. Now, how we're going to do that, first of all, we're going to take your phone. We're going to insert it into the case like that. And then you'll take the little cord. Mine is a C type to C type. And you're going to use that to connect the controller to the phone. Now, I actually use a different one because my phone, I need for some reason a very deep connector. So I'm actually using this from another drone. So what you're going to do is you're going to connect that into the top right here. 
like that. And you're going to connect the other end into the phone like that. And as you see, it's noticed that it's connected. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to take the drone and there's a big button on the battery. You're going to press it once, let it go and press it immediately again and hold one second and hold. And you'll see the lights come on and the drone chirps. That means it's in binding mode. Now you're going to press and hold, press it and then press and hold the power button on the controller too. See the lights come on and then you can press the WK fly and uh, you'll see a red light which means it's connecting to the drone. It will come on in a second. There we go. And now it's going to do a hookup. Now it can take uh, 30 seconds to a minute to hook up. So I'm actually going to pause it and continue once it's connected. Okay. Now you've got a green light on the top. It means the drone has connected. The drone has stopped its flashing. You come up with this screen. And what it's saying is the drone needs to be activated. Now I've tried to verify code. I've tried numerous things. I've not got anything to work, but there's a workaround. If you click on the enter verify code and then back out and then go to the back button here, then you see it allows you to go fly. So now, as you see, you have the video coming through. It's dark in here, sorry, but you have the video coming through. So now you are fully connected, controller, phone, and the drone. Now the nice thing is with this drone, you don't have to perform the usual geomagnetic and gyro calibrations you do with other drones. What basically what happens is when you go to the spot you want to fly outside, once it finds the GPS satellites, it will locate the point you put your drone and start it up as the home point. So um, basically, on the screen, it will show you right there the amount of satellites you're at. When you get over 10 to 12, the drone will be able to start up. Um, but then once you get those satellites, it will record the starting point when you're outside for the return to home. So if you ever have any problems, you press the return to home button here and the drone will come back to that point. So what you're going to do is go to the area you want to fly. Let's say start up the drone, set the drone on the ground, step a meter or so away. And just basically wait until the drone will beep and tell you that you have enough GPS satellites in order to fly. Once that's done. You simply pull down on the two sticks, and as you see, the drone will start its rotors. And then simply all you need to do is just push up on the stick, or take, use the automatic takeoff, and the drone will fly. If you use the automatic takeoff, it will fly up to a couple of meters high, and it will hover. And the, roughly the same with the stick, but it's uh, if you keep pushing, the drone will keep going up. And the same thing when you come down, you can push the stick all the way down and the drone will come down and land. And once you've taken off, the automatic takeoff will become a return to home button. So you have to land manually every time. Now, I know you're all excited about the uh, ability to be able to throw the drone and have it take off. I think this is awesome. Now, I'll let you know. If you use this function, it will use the controller as the home point. So if you, if you throw the drone and you fly around, you have a problem, you hit the return to home, it will return very close to where the transmitter is. So wherever that is, it will return to home. Now, to allow it 
to let you throw it. You'll put your hand underneath, covers the sensors, and then you tip the drone down. And then you hear that beeping sound. You have 10 seconds in which you can throw the drone up into the air and it will start the rotors and hover. Of course, I'm not going to do it inside. It could be a little disastrous, but it's actually really easy. So you just put your hand underneath. You're going to be covering these sensors. Wait till it beeps and throw away. Okay, now we get to the extra fun stuff. First of all, we're going to talk about this amazing little device here. This is a hand control. You can completely control the drone with this. And it's also got voice control as well, which I haven't tried, but it, from videos, it looks really good. Let's connect this. First of all, you're going to take the drone. You're going to double press one, hold. Drone will start up. Then you're going to hit the red button here and hold it. You'll see the screen start to light up a bit. The light power light comes on. It takes about 20 seconds. But it's good because it, it keeps you well uh, informed about what's going on. So it's it's good. Now you see I'm connected, and you can see. So you can uh, actually see what's through the camera, and you can actually talk into this. Uh, you say hello, drone. What can I help you? And then you, there's a list of things in the book that you can read over, and you can tell it. I'm not going to say anything because I don't need the drone flying in my apartment. I got to watch what they say. If you need any more detail, there is going to be a. Uh, Excuse me. There's going to be a longer video which will go more into depth on this controller and also the other main controller. Give you a little bit more details on how to use them and also how to fly if necessary. Now comes to the headset. Now this is a little bit more in depth to set up. What you're going to do is you're going to have this turned on. Now, this gives out its own Wi-Fi signal, which we're going to lock into. So you take your drone, go to settings, go to connections, go to Wi-Fi, and wait for it to look for... You're going to see one called WKGRD, blah, 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 whatever your control is. You're going to click on there, and it's going to connect. Checking the quality of my internet connection. Connected with our internet. So now we're going to shut that off. Now we're going to open up the WK Fly. And okay, we're going to turn that off. Go back. And it's going to be okay. Okay. Let's do this just quickly. Let's start it up again. And we're going to back out and go fly. Now, you can now see what's through the camera with it being connected Wi-Fi to this. You can get the occasional hiccup, but just you back out on the screens and it will work fine. Now, you need to go into VR mode. So you're going to click this button. You're going to hit VR. Now, it will show you the two separate screens. And now, actually, what happens is once you have the VR setting on, if you look up and down, if you look at the camera on the drone, it will actually move to where you're looking. So that's really cool. And it will actually turn the drone left and right when you're flying. So you have a lot of control with it. So it's really cool. So basically what you're going to do then is you're going to very carefully take the headset. There's this 
tray in the front. You're going to very carefully lower your phone firmly down into the tray. And try and keep it even between. Then what you can't see it from here, but what you're going to do is you're going to be able to see the uh, through the camera right in your vision. And same thing when it's in, you're controlling the camera and controlling the drone. So you'll be flying as if you're looking through the drone's camera. And you can also, you'll actually use this to fly. And uh, between that and the, the headset, it gives a very, very good experience. So it's all actually a very simple setup. This drone makes it very, very quick to get flying, which is one of the things I really love about it. But as I said before, if you do have any questions or need any help after this video, either you can watch the long video or you can reach out to the customer support team at the Bigley Brothers and we will be most happy to help you. So again, have a great time flying this fantastic drone and have a good day.